plants, we do practical tools, we do problem solvers, and we do pretty things as well. I am super excited that we got to save this beautiful little hydrangea birdhouse for my show. It's been one of my favorite things coming new this year. This is a fully covered resin hydrangea birdhouse with a chain. Just darling. Aren't these so cute? I'll pick one up just to show you. They are resin. They come with a chain with a hook and they are covered with flowers all the way around. They have a little cleaning hole at the bottom and a little safe place for your sweet little uh, finches and wrens and little birds, goldfinches, uh, that love to make their little nests near your house. So here we have the color choices for you. And again, these are done by our group Marigold. Let me make sure that's sitting flat right there. There we go. Okay, so this one is the purple. We also have it in yellow, which I think is the most limited. We have blue. And then we also have it for you in pink, kind of a corally pink. Five payments of just $5.65, and these are brand new. Let's bring in Jennifer Baker. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome to the show. Hey, Carolyn. It's Hi. good to see you. Aren't these so pretty? They are, and of course, we save them for your garden party. Oh, thank you. I know. They had to be on this show, no doubt. So of course they did. So tell us, first of all, tell us about Marigold because that's a collection that you can only find here. That's right. Marigold is QVC's new private line of whimsical, colorful, and adorable garden accents and home accents. If you think about a Marigold flower, they're super pretty, they're brightly colored, and that's quintessentially Marigold. Everything in this collection is brightly colored, and super cute. So these hydrangea birdhouses are completely covered in flowers, like you said earlier. It is 360 degrees of cuteness. Um, just to give you some dimensions, so you have an idea of how big they are. They are six inches across. They are seven inches tall. And this little opening here is about an inch and a half. So that'll give you an idea of what kind of birds are gonna nest in here. They're really, really sweet. So it's not, the thing about a birdhouse like this is it's not really big enough for those invasive birds to, no. to get in. And uh, you know, it's a nice little place of shelter for the smaller little, like the house finches and, and wrens and, and the sweet little guys, uh, nut hatches that um, love to uh, nest around your house. And maybe they're, they're trying to nest in that wreath on your front door. And every time you open the door, they fly away. It, it's not a really a <laughs> practically safe place for them. Um, this is gonna be a place that's nice and quiet. They're in out of the rain. They'll be left alone to have their little babies. Uh, here's the yellow. You can see how pretty this one is. It's got some uh, shades of orange on it, a little bit of chocolatey brown. Very, very pretty. I love the little daisy type flowers that are on there. And then we have it for you in the blue. And the blue has a little bit of aqua and teal and shades of blue. Again, flowers all the way around. Very three dimensional. Mm. And then the pink one has shades of pink and coral, kind of like those sun patients we just had with Philip Watson. Um, very, very pretty. And um, again, you can see there's a little place to uh, clean them on the bottom, right? That's right. So when your little birds are done for the season, mm -hmm. all you have to do is go outside and grab your little birdhouse mm -hmm. off of the tree branch yep. or wherever you've decided to put them. This little rubber plug pops right out and you can clean everything inside for next season. Yeah, and easy to pop it right back in. I took it out so you can see. It's about the same size as the opening that's in the front for the birds. Um, and there's right. your, little, your little rubber um, stopper right there. So that just pops right back in then. And it stays in securely. There's a little sort of a little gasket around the edge. So um, again, we have all four colors for you. And uh, I'm sorry, I lost my earpiece. Yellow is um, very popular, very limited. Uh, we have one hanging over from the eaves over here on our, um, our patio, um, and we're gonna take a look at that. Um, but it's something you can hang from a tree branch, or I, uh, Jennifer, I don't know if you heard me one time earlier in the season, I said I have this giant pine tree that is next to one side of my house in the front, 
and it's like this place. I sometimes run in there and stand under it when it's raining because it's completely sheltered because the branches are so thick. And I've got like a little apartment building of bird houses under there. I've hung them from various <laughs> branches and I love it too because I can look out of my bedroom window and hear all the little baby birds tweeting in their in their little houses. Um, but it's perfect to hang from a tree branch. And um, you know, if that branch is a little too thick, then you can just get a little piece of twine or you can get a zip tie and just lace it through the top of the hook and then tie it over the tree branch if if that works for you. I just sort of come up with all different kinds of ways to hang these. That's great. And I like how you said that you put yours in a pine tree. There's all different colors to choose from. And if you think about like colors, because I'm a furniture painter, um, red and green are contrasting colors. So we have this really gorgeous pink option for you to choose from. Or any of these colors really would contrast so nicely against uh, pine needles or even like the dark leaves of the deciduous trees that we get here mm -hmm. in the Northeast. Imagine this yellow and the orange right up against those dark green branches. Wouldn't that look so nice? Yeah. It's just like a great little pop of color before your flowers grow in. Um, you know, there's that, you know, the daffodils are, I just know they're ready to burst out of the ground any minute. I know they're all under there, um, but there's that period of time where it's not quite time for lots of flowers yet till, you know, later in May or early June. So this is a nice way to get some pops of color going throughout your garden. Yellow is very popular, very limited. If you want the yellow, that's gonna sell out. We also have it in the purple and the blue and that pink, which has those wonderful coral colors in it as well. And the dimension on this is almost seven inches by about four inches from front to back. It's really cute and pretty. Look at it hanging in that tree. That's right, and look at that paint finish too. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not just one color, it's multi-dimensional, it's 3D. This isn't like a flat birdhouse. This isn't yeah. a flat wood surface. There's tons of texture really pretty. So stay in the ordering process for this one. It's brand new today. There's never too many birdhouses that can be in your yard. Bird feeders or birdhouses, it will just attract all of those beautiful little birds to your yard and they'll stay there all winter long when they have a source of shelter and a source of food and they bring so much joy. So give them a cute little place to live. I mean, if I was a bird, I would like to live in that little flowery apartment. I don't know about you. Um, the yellow is now sold out. Um, so 600 ordered, purple, blue, or pink remain. Jennifer, thank you for your expertise and being on the show today. It's my pleasure. Always good to be part of your garden party. Thank you. Okay, let's take a look at this video all about gardening essentials, and we'll continue with garden party.